Yo, you trying to figure out how to get them new legendary weapons like Shisui? Make sure you stick around to the end of the video, your old pal main gotcha. What's going on my family? It is your boy B man coming to you guys with another video on the channel. You already know what it is today. Yes, today. I'm gonna be showing you guys how to find the legendary swordsman, dealer, seller, whatever you want to call them. And this is pretty tough to do. Now, the process of doing it isn't hard per se, but this has been the longest grind trying to get these bad boys. Luckily, so far, I have found a few of them. Your boy got the Shisui, and I just got the um, Sadi not too long ago. So let's put Shisui it real quick. And I got the Sadi not too long ago. Let's get it. So now I'm only missing the Wando, and I should have that by the end of the day. And I will have showcases on all the legendary weapons probably tomorrow or late late tonight depending on how fast i can get this wando but you're like man i'm not really here for you to flex on me on what the stuff you got i'm trying to figure out how to get these legendary weapons and how to find the swordsman i got you i got you now there's gonna be some um prerequisites to do this so listen up and let's get straight into this video now i'm not certain on this step but i'm pretty sure you need to be 850 you need to do the um barter bar, um bar, the barter low quest before you can even interact with the manager now i'm not 100 certain of that just because um i have i was already 850 and i had already did it before i even started trying this so i'm not certain of that and um so yeah you can confirm that for yourself or not but yeah that is one step that one prerequisite that i think you need to have now the other prerequisite that i will highly highly recommend like this is not needed but it's really needed if you guys really want to find these legendaries get pika Find some way to get Pika, because if you really want to find this guy, you're going to need Pika Flight. It is a must, in my opinion. Otherwise, you're not going to be finding it. You don't have enough time with any other devil fruit. You need fast as possible. You need to be able to move fast as possible. <laughs> Go mink and light, light Pika. You need it to get that movement speed. Now, I'm going to throw up a picture on screen right about now. And shout out to so i forgot to add this into the video but each weapon costs two million cash so make sure you have at least two million on you when you try to find this and also he spawns one random sword so that can be sadi wando or um shisui so you could possibly get shisui three times in a row or sadi three times in a row or wando three times in a row but yeah make sure you have two million cash and remember that the sword um that actually is spawned is random that you can buy um aki from, from from discord he's been helping me a lot yo he i would not have these um i would not have these legendary weapons right now if it wasn't from him he definitely helped me out and was you know t telling me the way to do it and he sent me this thing now if you're in a discord you may have already seen this um but if you have not if you're not in discord you definitely need to see this this is definitely going to help you you know understand it a little bit more so basically when you join the server you're going to need to talk to the manager to um basically figure out if the swordsman is the legendary swordsman dealer is here or not so when you first talk to him um it says man he not left not to love not, man he left not too long ago but when you first join like when you first join the server you have to wait 10 to 15 minutes to be able to even interact with the manager now when you first join the server you could talk to him he'll be saying he basically say you're too early for this um or you're too late or something like that so if he's saying those those dialogues typically is you're too early for this that's usually what he says to me that means you have not been in the server long enough you need to be in a server for roughly 10 to 15 minutes before the manager will tell you anything so like i said when you first join the server make sure you guys are in there for 10 to 15 minutes before you even talk to the manager now after you talk after you've 10 to 15 minutes the manager will start spitting out dialogues so the first dialogue right here is um right he said man he left not too long ago he just spawned on my server like 20 minutes ago so at this point if he's saying man he left not too long ago you roughly got five to six hours of him to spawn you got a quite a while five actually like five to five to eight hours to be honest like i would definitely say it towards the more the eight hour eight hour ram so he still got a while before you even can even see him so if, you, if you're getting this right here 
um if you're really trying to go for the legendary swordsman i would just leave the server because he's not spawning anytime soon just go ahead server hop unless you're trying to be going to afk in the server but um yeah you got a long time if he's saying this now the next dialogue he's gonna say is he says pirates saw him not too long ago he was definitely saying he was saying right here now if you're getting into pirates saw him not too long ago a lot of people have been saying that that's around the four hour left mark so if he's saying that you got roughly around four hours and four hours until the legendary vendor spawns so uh, if you're saying that that's a decent point to be at now if you're getting that i'm not telling you to go mark your calendar then i mean i mark your timer and say oh from this point it's definitely four hours but that is the rough point from when he first starts saying it now he could have been already sending it for two and a half hours and you're about to get into the next dialogue but from that point it's roughly around four hours wait from when he first starts saying that that you have to wait in the server for the legendary swordsman seller to spawn now the next thing he's going to be saying is old man claimed he saw his ship now, when you say old hand claim saw your ship, you need to, base, I would say, stay in the server. If you're getting that, that's a good point to stay in the server because from that point on forward, it's roughly one hour and 30 minutes, 90 minutes from him going to spawn. Now, like I said, that's, don't set your timer for it to be one hour and 30 minutes because unless, unless you've been in the server the whole time and you've been watching the dialogue, but you you could you could be at the 45 minute mark or you could it could have just started it just depends on what's from when he first starts in so if you get in that dialogue make sure you stay in the server because like i said you only got an hour an hour hour and a half before the legendary swordsman spawns now the next text he's going to say is where it gets juicy now if you talk to him and he's saying um if he says to you um he's coming soon basically he'll say something like that it's the only thing people talk about he'll he should be here soon that's when you need to get locked in now this part is the best and the worst part because literally he can spawn any second i won't say any second from when he first said it i'll say it's roughly between 20 and 30 minutes but for me personally i go crazy clicking the manager if i get that text what i'm doing is i'm sitting right here at the manager i'm i'm refreshing him non-stop i'm literally just clicking him boom 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 because after that the next thing he's going to say he's here you got five minutes guys five minutes to find him from that text so i guess i say what i typically do is i just go ham right here clicking it over and over and over and over and over and over and over while he's saying he's coming soon because as soon as i see he's here for five more minutes i'm going crazy trying to find that um find, trying to find the source because i only got five minutes and he's going to despawn and also only one person can buy from him. once you buy from him, anybody in the server he will despawn so you gotta be the first person to get it so now we got that part over let's show some of the locations that he can spawn at now before i show some of these locations these locations aren't guaranteed i have not found all these all the locations yet and um some of these locations i haven't seen personally myself so um these are the i just seen like pictures and things of general information that's been going around the discord so yeah i'm not really sure about that but um yeah i don't know if it, it kind of switches up it's not a lot of information it takes six hours to even six to eight hours to even spawn them so it's, it's it's not a lot of information going around right now but for for one people were saying around this rock right here so i personally have not seen them but a lot of people have said he could spawn around this around this area right here i don't know if it's behind it or on the ground i don't know exactly which area you know what i'm saying but he spawns somewhere around here so this is one spawn location of where the legendary swordsman can you know spawn now the second spot you can spawn is over here now i have personally found one over here before you come down here you want to for me he spawned right here it was either right here or right here i think it was right here this is actually where i just got my last one from so i know for a fact he can spawn in this location right here so um i always check this spot every single time it's my first spot from i'm always there and i come to this spot first and then i'll like hover around this spot and see if he's there as well now the next spot that he can spawn at this, this is kind of my rotation that i go through you guys don't have to use my rotation use work rotation is best for you this is kind of the rotation i found works best for myself so after i check these two pillars i come over here and i check the coliseum he can spawn in one of these spots. I seen a picture. I couldn't tell exactly which which what um pillar he was on. Let the top pillar, but one of these four little spots right here, he can spawn somewhere right here. Um, I have seen a picture. 
but I don't know exactly the pillar that he spawns on. But the Coliseum in this area right here, he can spawn right here. So after I check out the Coliseum, I head down over here into this tunnel. And this is another location that he can spawn. So you want to come over here. I mean, if you can fish me like I am, hop in the water. And then I usually fly over here. And um, around this corner is another spot that he can spawn. Look, guys, if you, like I said, you didn't pick. You really do not have time to try to get a boat and try to swim over here. That's just not it, guys. Get Pika. I cannot stress you. I can't stress to you enough how important getting Pika is. Now, another small location right here. I think it was like somewhere around here. I can't remember if it was on this part or this part. But in this, on this pillar right here, he can spawn. I will look all over here because, like I said, it could be more locations, but I personally got my first sword from this location. I actually seen a spawn right here twice. So, um, yeah, make sure you check this location because this is definitely a spawn. So, after I check this spot, I come out of here and um, I head, I'm going to be heading to our left to this area over here. Now, I'm not super certain on which flower that he spawns, so I have seen pictures, but it's still kind of hard to tell exactly, exactly which one. Um, uh, but yeah, I'm gonna head up here. But yeah, guys, head up here, and I'm thinking it's one of these flower spots. Like I said, I personally have not found found it, but off this big, the big, big, big like branch right here, this big stem, whatever you want to call it, this big stem right here, it can spawn on one of these flowers. Um, I think this is the one right here. I'm almost certain this is the one. I don't know if he spawns like in this area right here. I'm almost certain this is the picture that I've seen. It's like right here. Now, I don't know if he spawns on any other petals, but the picture I seen, he was right here. So, shoot, just check all the petals. You know what I'm saying? Hey, this is another spawn location right here. So, after I check this spot over here, I'm headed. We head over to the grave site. And this is another possible location that he can spawn. And then on the grave site, it's like the like middle thing or whatever. It's like the, the middle peak part. So basically, come over here to the grave site and this area right here. I know it's the middle peak. Now, I don't know if it's the very, 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 very top. I have not found it in the graveyard yet personally, but I do know this is another location and everybody said it's the middle peak. And uh, well, he said it's here as well. And so, yes, come over here. I always come to the very top. I look, I look around real quick. If I don't see anything th at this point, if you guys are following my rotation and the and the um, route that I take, I reset from here because now we are trying to get to um, we're trying to get to um, Usopp Island. So Usopp Island is the next place that I I know for sure is boss. Um, yeah, guys, as I was saying. You want to come over here to Usopp's Island, and this is another place I know it spawns at. Come down here, and you want to go into the uh, middle house over here, this house right here. And yeah, come over here, and this is another place that he can spawn. Now, I don't know if he spawns in any other houses in any other place on this island, but it's definitely a place he can spawn. So come over here to the middle house, and he could be here. Now, another location that somebody recently just told me about, I don't know for myself, so I just add, I, start, I just started adding to my rotation. It's always at the end because I don't know exactly where to check, and that is uh, Blackbeard's Blackbeard's um, place. Like I said, I don't know exactly where it's at for Blackbeard. I can't tell you guys like exactly but I have been told that um, he spawns um, somewhere in the dark arena. They just said behind one of the rocks here. I don't know which rocks. This is always the last place I check. And um, so I come here and basically I just kind of like, you know, and then also guys, you could out on observation hockey, you know, as well. It may help you see a little bit better. Um, but yeah, I can't basically come to here to do that. And I forgot I tapped off for a second, but yeah, do that. And check behind all these rocks. I really don't know a rock on this island, so I can't tell you what's the exact location um, of on this island. But yeah, check all these rocks. If you guys found a spot here, make sure you guys let your boy know. Uh, but yeah, this is another location here. And then after I check this location, what I do is I reset once more. And um, um, I kind of check just a little bit more. I go back to my first few spots because the first few spots, I'm always panicking because I'm trying to find it so fast. Like literally just today, I missed it. Like I literally came back to this spot. I literally went through my whole rotation 
came back to my spot and he was right here. I don't know how I missed the first one. I just didn't see him. So uh, always after I make the first rotation, I kind of come back and just check again, just to make sure I wasn't tripping because I did trip earlier. And yeah, that's basically it. Now I know this video was kind of long and winded. And if you guys have any questions down in the comment section, I will try to answer to the best of my ability. I did not have all the answers. And I also want to inform, say once again, that these are not all the locations. These are just known locations for me. I'm almost certain that there's more locations because I've checked these locations several times before and um, it's been times where i just don't find it so anyway hopefully you guys found this helpful hopefully this video helps you guys and i hope you guys have good luck finding these legendary weapons they are pretty rough to get i know your boy got two but these are rough to get we will have video showcasing each ones pretty soon and then i'll be ranking them and all that good stuff but anyway hope you guys enjoyed the video if you didn't make sure that's the like button if the channel go and subscribe i'm gonna catch you folks later